So for today, we're going to be looking at the weapons that Grasp of Apparis drops. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, some of these weapons I used to have in Destiny 1, I still have in Destiny 1. And I am just thoroughly fucking excited to get grab some of these God Rills. So let's just get right into it. Be, actually, before we get into it, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Uh, also... As per usual, people who usually come to my channel are not subscribed. You can do me a favor, subscribe really does help me. And if you guys don't like me within a month, you guys can always unsubscribe. Really doesn't do anything to you. Other than that, let's just get right into it. So, Ayas Luna, legendary hand cannon in the kinetic slot. And it's a fucking stasis weapon. I'm not even kidding when I tell you when I saw this, I was I was losing my shit. I was like, a stasis weapon? I'm all for it. I'm not really mad about it. Uh, Ice Loon is obviously a 140 for you guys who thought this was a 180. Y'all are fucking weird. <laughs> so let's talk about the perks real quick. So for the perk, we have Unrelenting, Rapid Hit, Heating Up, Outlaw, Perpetual Motion, and Range Finder for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be... Headstone, Demolitionist, Moving Target, Kill Clip, Harmony, and Snapshot Sights. So, the really cool thing about this, let me just get right uh, into this, is the fact that Ayas Luna actually does not have barrels. It has uh, sights, so that's really cool. Uh, other than that, for, for PvP, I'm going to be looking for Rapid Hit and Kill Clip, uh, Outlaw and Kill Clip, Perpetual Motion and Kill Clip, uh, Range Finder and Kill Clip, uh... That's pretty much it, actually. I wouldn't mind unrelenting. I think I would probably fuck around with unrelenting. Uh, I know there's some people that would tell me harmony would be pretty cool, uh, which is fair. I think harmony would be really cool with this one, especially if you pair it with another weapon that has harmony. Uh, but personally, I think rapid hit and kill clip would just be like my main bread and butter for sure for PvP. Uh, for PvE, I don't actually know. I would probably still do rapid hit, but maybe go to demolitionist or mm, headstone. I would probably choose if I'm doing a, uh, a stasis build within PVE, but the perk uh, the, the one, the one I got was outlaw and moving target, which is pretty cool. I actually do like that combination. Uh, outlaws outlaws pretty cool. Cause once you get a headshot, you get a really high reload speed. But if I'm being honest, I would have much rather got anything else i think perpetual motion and moving target would have been something i would probably have lost my shit over but yeah uh ice luna has so many good perks personally uh per rapid hit and and kill clip is just the one that i'm really thinking of just I, like i i'm just thinking about those two and i'm like dude that shit is gonna be fun but there's other perks that i think would be really cool as well like range finder and kill clip i think would be really really dope but yeah let me know what roles you guys are going for because i am pretty boring when it comes to this because i immediately just want rapid hit and kill clip that's the one i want with range finder and kill clip being like the other one where i'd be happy as well uh the reload is pretty pitiful it's at 50 it's not like super slow but it's not super fast either outlaw really does help it because that reload is like fucking fast but if you have a reload uh hand handgun or hand cannon reload uh, mod on it then I mean at that point it really doesn't matter so yeah Ice Luna definitely one of my favorite weapons I still have this in D1 next one is going to be Matador 64 it is in the energy slot and it's really weird because it's a precision frame I remember the shotgun being a an aggressive frame so might not be that good although let's look at the perks see if if those are good so pulse monitor perpetual motion tunnel vision full auto trigger system threat detector and let from gold for the first row for the second row it's gonna be golden tricorn harmony opening shot one two punch killing wind and swashbuckler so i just wonder where this is at, like where this is at like this is an arc weapon first and foremost so tricorn you would have to have a arc yeah you would have to have an arc subclass to actually really benefit from this and uh i don't know if i would use tricorn with this for pve let's just get it out of the way lead from gold and one two punch is probably something that i would be going for but also swashbuckler is also a fine choice 
Uh, for PvP, you I, you could probably do Threat Detector and Opening Shot. Although personally, I would go Perpetual Motion and, and Opening Shot, just because Threat Detector only works when you're in close proximity, while Perpetual Motion works while you're in motion. So you're all like most of the time people are always moving unless you're like camping for whatever reason or just like like to be uh, very methodical but most of the time people are usually walking or running or doing something with motion so that means you're immediately getting a bonus to stability handling and reload which is really good so that's why i would do perpetual motion and opening shot maybe this one's just really weird i don't know like where i would go with it personally but i i just mm, it's really rough i don't know man honestly it's just that the fact that it's not an aggressive kind of throws me off so i would most likely go with perpetual motion and opening shot for pvp for pve uh lead from golden one two punch is like my go-to that's like my bread and butter pve build for shotguns but swashbuckler is also fine i think golden tricorn will be nice depending how big that damage bonus is and the duration but other than that let me know what you guys think about matador 64 kind of weird that it's a precision frame but i guess they just didn't want to give us another pr uh, aggressive frame which is completely fair for the next one it's gonna be 1000 yard stare it is in the energy slot it's an arc no it's a void weapon as well so that's pretty interesting for the perks we have heating up triple tap firmly planted quick draw no distractions and perpetual motion for the first row for the second row it's going to be demolitionist dragonfly mulligan golden tricorn snapshot sights and moving target this is pretty cool uh i ended up getting a quick draw and snapshot sights on my first one it's not the god roll because i think i feel like uh all of the things did not hit i don't think i have a good barrel and a good mag because obviously you're gonna want like a ma uh a barrel that has like really good uh, range and usually accurized rounds is the one that people go for and a range masterwork i have none of those i only have quick draw and snapshot sights but it still is a really good shotgun so I, or a really good sniper so i still recommend this one if you're into pvp uh for pve this is where i'm just kind of like i don't know honestly uh triple tap is dope that's definitely the one you want to use for pve but then we get to like Demolitionist, Dragonfly, Mulligan, Tricorn. I just don't know. No, there's no like maybe maybe Golden Tricorn. The only reason I don't say this one is because you have to get a final blow to activate this this uh, bonus. So if this was like Vorpal weapon, easy, easy triple tap and Vorpal. But unfortunately, we do not have that combination so yeah let me know what you guys think in comments below obviously there's some other cool stuff you can do here you can do no distractions and snapshot sites so that way you can get no distractions faster uh, moving targets also a fine choice firmly planted is also really interesting personally but at the end of the day i just this is this is a pvp weapon like like I, I can't even like there's triple tap is there which i shouldn't be overlooking but triple tap is in a lot of other sniper rifles so that's kind of like my thing it's like there's already what is it called uh the sniper rifle from from crucible frozen orbit i think it's called that one has triple tap and vorpal so that's like the better one and it also is an aggressive frame so at that point it's not only hitting harder but you have triple tap and vorpal so it's hitting harder even more so I don't know this is definitely a good pvp sniper though very i very much recommend it and last but not least we have hero of ages which is a sword a vortex frame as well and this was pretty cool it looks very fucking cool in my opinion uh the perks on the other hand are like i don't know there's one perk combination where i'm actually very interested so first one's gonna be relentless strike uh, unrelenting duelist trance tireless blade and demolitionist for the first row for the second row it's gonna be one for all on guard assassin's blade and chain reaction so the the combination i was thinking about was unrelenting and chain reaction will unrelenting proc off of the chain reaction kills that's the one i'm really really thinking hard about the other one is actually there's no other one uh well i guess relentless strikes and one for all would be interesting but for one for all to be active you have to hit three separate targets that's not cool 
Assassin's Blade maybe, but I don't know. Other than that, this, this these perk pools is not that great in my opinion. Uh, Demolitionist is nice, uh, but you won't get a reload because swords don't reload, so you'll only be getting uh, grenade energy. I don't know. This one, it looks cool, but it's just like questionable. Like, why would you use this? Like, what would you use this for? Like, the perks just don't add up in my opinion. So that's pretty much it. Those are all the weapons from the dungeon. I am loving the dungeon. Like I said, if I have not done the videos that I said on the last weapon video, then whatever. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I the, the weapons I'm currently looking for is Ayas Luna and that's really it. Actually, the Ayas Luna is for me is like the hand hand cannon that I hold very dear to me. That's the one I use a lot aside from like the raid raid weapons as well. Like, I'm just so in love with Ayas Luna. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.